Hello guys, it's me. Bun Tutorials Nikki, hi. <laughs> Hello guys, it's me, Nikki. Welcome to Challenge Tutorials, we're back. I saw Glam and Gore's video on how she followed a James Charles makeup tutorial by only listening to the voiceover. And start using circular motions to place that shadow right up in there and to blend it out. You wanna keep the yellow up here in order to make a nice transition between skin tone. I thought that was so unique and such an interesting way of following a makeup tutorial because usually we have the luxury of seeing what's happening in front of us but we don't always listen. Today, I am going to follow someone's makeup tutorial, but only the voiceover. So I don't know who it is yet. I don't know what video it is yet. I, I don't know what look I'm doing today. All I know is that I better put these to work and listen. I wanna text Mikey right now and ask her since she came up with this challenge. Actually, her roommate Katie came up with that. And I wanna ask her what video I should follow um, listening to. That sounds so weird, following, listening to. So I'm gonna text her right now, not knowing Mikey, it's probably gonna be something bloody or scary, prosthetic -y, scary. I'm gonna see what video she's gonna choose for me and then we'll follow along. Mikey is about to send me the link, so I'm gonna pass over my phone to Linda! Hi. <laughs> She's back. It's early again. <laughs> it's early again. Guess what we're doing after this? Another 24 hour video. I'm out. <laughs> Linda is gonna have my phone. She's gonna put the video on. Oh, I swear to God, if it's a zombie, Mikey, if it's a zombie, I am not dressed to be a zombie today. <laughs> I'm looking at it right now. Turn it on. Welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to, decided. Is this Desi? Roll the tape. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to, decided. Where that accent come from? So what are we doing, Desi? Tell me. And then all of a sudden, like, the screen liner popped up out of nowhere. Green? And I really like how it looks. I think it's really different and fun. I'm just applying a bone colored shadow to my brow bone. Oh, hold on. Oh, okay. shit. Oh. Where she went straight into eyes? Um. Did she apply primer? Moving on to the eyes, I'm just applying a bone colored shadow to my brow bone as my highlight, and this is Max Blanc type. And I've already prepped my lids with Max Soft Ochre prior oh, to Oh, okay, okay. Thank God, who bless the Lord. Okay, wait, she said Blanc type. I think I have that color, hold on. Oh my God, it's been ages since I've used Mac. <gasps> that's, oh that's also perfect. Blanc type, <laughs> Blanc type. I got it, okay, pre okay, Woo. So I don't have soft ochre anymore. I know, shocking. Um, so I'm gonna put the, the Fenty primer. I'm just gonna do one eye so we can focus. So she said, highlight the brow bone. So I'm highlighting the, the brow bone. I got this NYX eyeshadow in the shade Velvet in my glam bag this month. And this is gonna be the perfect transition shade for our smoky eye because it's easy to build color upon this and it's really nicely pigmented. So I'm just gonna put that in my crease with the MAC 224. But what kind of color is it? She said transition color, so I have options between peachy, soft brown, corally, soft brown. She said metallic smoky eye and green liner. So it's probably like a soft brown. 224. Oh, it's also really freaking me out that I haven't even done my brows yet. Right now we are doing eyes and there are no brows on my face. That, that, that worries me. I'm gonna grab the Nudie Patootie Palette by Laura Lee Los Angeles. Um, and I'm taking this color here. <sighs> this is gonna teach me so much about how I do my videos because now, and I love, I love Desi's videos. Desi's videos are like ASMR to me. Like they, they bring me so much like calmness and like peace. But even now I'm like, oh my God, 
That's right, we should be saying what kind of movement we're doing, what the color looks like, what the texture's like, how it performs. And I feel like because we're so used to doing tutorials, we're kind of like, it's normal to us, and especially me, because I do the same. I feel like we, as as makeup gurus, forget that the, that there are people out there that don't have a clue, like, what we're even saying. The next video is gonna be a tutorial on my channel, and I'm gonna be so descriptive. <laughs> that looks... I want a really dark base for this look, so I'm using NYX gel liner and I'm just gonna apply that to my lid with a Makeup Geek concealer brush. Dark gel liner as a base by NYX. I don't have that, but I do have Dose of Colors. I have a black and I have a dark brown, but I don't know what color she did. <laughs> she said gel liner as a base, so that's black. Tapping on Oh my god. <laughs> and after I've done that, I'm taking a black eyeshadow. This is Blackout by Urban Decay. And I'm gonna pack it on to the lids. <gasps> See, it was black! Take... Grabbing a black shadow, putting it on top of that base. What's next, Desi? Now taking a MAC 217, I'm gonna use the color Sienna from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's a very warm brown, and I'm just gonna run that through the crease. Okay, I have that color again somewhere. Sienna! I found her! She said in the crease. I'm gonna blur the lines between dark and transition. Oh, sh boy. And then I'm going to take a MAC 224 and blend out those edges and continue those steps until it's nicely blended. Okay. Next, you wanna take a black eyeliner and I'm gonna apply that to my waterline and drop Okay, it got it. So now I would have to reapply the black and get that all sorted. and I'm gonna apply that to my waterline and drag it down fairly low. Oh. Kind of feel like it's safe to apply my concealer now since I've used all of the black eyeshadows for the most part. So I'm just gonna apply my NARS Creamy Concealer in the color Custard. And after that, I'm going to blend out that oh, black liner she's with going a little to bit blend. more Sienna in a MAC 270. Ha <laughs> ha! Sienna. Blending that, oh that's pretty. Oh. I'm gonna take this pigment by MAC. It's called Old Gold, and I love it. It's kind of an antique color. I'm gonna apply that to my tear duct, and since I have black underneath it, it's gonna make it pop a lot more. Wait, she has black in her tear duct, too. More black. Black in her tear duct area, too. I found Old Gold. If you remember this MAC packaging, this is the packaging from years ago, so I don't even want to know how long I've had this pigment for. When I started doing makeup and I started, you know, finding out about the brands, I thought the pigments by MAC were so cool. Like, they were like pure magic to me. This is old gold, and she said, tear it up. Tear it up. Oh, that is pretty. Oh, wow, that's stunning. NARS Creamy Concealer. I'm starting to like this. Now that I'm shaping it with concealer, I'm like, drama, mama. Okay. Next, I'm taking MAC Copper Sparkle, and I'm gonna apply that with a Sigma shader brush to the center of the lid, and I wanna focus most of the intensity in the center, and then blend those outer edges out so that like a spotlight. the color is, like I said, mostly in the center of your lid. Let me find it. Copper Sparkle. I'm just so surprised that I have all these products lying around here. I've never really dipped into this one. Center of the lid. Hello? Oh. oh. It's all out. To highlight my lower lash line, I'm also gonna apply the copper sparkle right in the center. So this goes here. 
And just to make everything pop, I'm gonna apply a little bit more black eyeshadow to the lower lash line and the outer V of my eye. More black? Mm -hmm. I don't think there's room for more black. Do you see how black my eyeballs are right now? Um, yeah, I can tell. Um, we're gonna skip that step. So you can definitely stop this look here and just apply lashes, but I'm gonna go in with this Lime Crime liner in the color Chartreuse. It was seriously calling my name. Liner is on. And to finish off the eyes, I'm applying my House of Lashes in the style Iconic and I'm just gonna add a little bit of mascara to them and the eyes are done. Iconic, oh my God. Desi made House of Lashes iconic happen. Moving on to the face, I've already applied my foundation. It's the MAC Studio Fix Powder in NC35 and I mixed a little bit of NC45 as well, or NW45 as well. <laughs> and I don't think I own powder foundation. Powder foundation. Desi! Okay, so the other eye is done and I'm feeling like a very avant-garde alien chic. Powder foundation, what is happening? <laughs> I didn't think it would be possible, but I do have powder foundation. This is the same foundation that um, Desi talked about. I didn't even know this was foundation. To me, this was setting powder. That tells you more about my standards of high coverage than anything else. <laughs> I love that other people's powder foundations are like my blotting powders. I'm like, just blotting away the shine. <laughs> so, you and me, baby. Oh my God, I've never done just powder. What? I'm about to be so shook. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay, I am so excited about this video. What's next? Now I'm gonna set my concealer with Anastasia Beverly Hills Banana Powder under the eyes. What? And I used a <laughs> Zoeva highlighter brush for this. Kinda already went there. I know Banana Powder by Anastasia Beverly Hills is way too dark for me, like way too yellow. I do, however, have another Studio Fix powder in white. <laughs> Because when you are a ghost, white is pretty much the color you should aim for when you want to highlight. So I'm just gonna mix this with this color too. I think she did this to pretty much highlight the under eye. It's so brightening. Oh, a whole new world. To warm up the skin, I'm using Max Give Me Sun, and this is my favorite. Um, I guess you would call it a transition shade for your contour. Exactly what Bronzer. you do with the eyeshadow. You want to do that with the face too, so that you don't just have one dark, harsh line. You want it to gradually fade. And then you can go in with a darker contour shade and apply that just to the outer portions of your cheekbones. Give me sun on me looks like I um, had a lovely fight with mud. Instead, I'm just going to use my favorite bronzer at the moment, the Jouer one. When is she doing brows? I'm still waiting on the brows. All right, so now it's time to highlight, and this is my first time using the Becca Opal highlighter, and as you can see, I maybe, maybe just added a little too much highlighter to my face, but it's okay. Lesson learned. Next time, I'll go a little lighter on that highlight. Pause it, pause it. Never say you're wearing too much highlighter. Don't put those nasty words in your mouth. Never too much, never. Ooh. I see him, I knew I had him. Opal, see, this is opal. Opal, little bit. Moonstone is here to lighten up the day. Yes. Now moving on to the blush. I'm using the Balm blush and this is called Swiss Dot. And this is very pigmented. It's a very peachy, corally shade. Peachy so coral! Apply... I am doing all of this and all I'm still wondering is when are we doing brows? <laughs> Ooh, this look is coming along. Lastly, we're gonna finish off the look with the lips. I'm gonna line my uh, lips with this lip liner from Makeup <laughs> Forever in the color 3C. And then I'm taking Lime Crimes lipstick in the color Coquette, which is such a beautiful 
uh, peachy nude, but peachy it nude. may have looked a little bit too light for my skin tone at the moment. Does he? She is not gonna do brows, is she? You know what the sad part about this is? Is that if someone does this with my videos, I don't do my brows on camera. Uh -huh. So that means that if you follow mine exactly by voice, that means you're leaving the house without brows too. Oh, she better just make one little quick little mention at the very end and to say like, and I filled in my brows so I can actually do my brows. Hold on. Just to inform you, <laughs> we have only 30 seconds of video. Oh left. God, 30 seconds sounds like an outro. So that is it for this makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Is he? Uh. Say it Welcome in the bloopers. Say Ooh. you're doing brows in the bloopers. We're gonna do this tutorial. Give me, give, give me it. So good. Thank you for watching. No, no, wait, no. It's like Lady Gaga chic with like neon liner. It's like, it's like high fashion. Who needs brows anyway? <laughs> so, of course, I was following along a Desi Perkins makeup tutorial, only listening to what she had to say, but I haven't seen it yet. I don't know if I'm remotely close. I don't know if I have something way different going on than Desi. So of course you know by now, but it's time for a personal reveal. I'm gonna look right now. Wait, what? <laughs> that is so much prettier. Why do I always have to take it to the dramatic side? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty different. <laughs> Desi did a daytime version and I did a very intense nighttime version. But let me know what you think. Let me know how you think I did, how I followed along. At which point were you like, oh, we give up on her, let her go. I wanna thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Mikey, for giving me this Desi Perkins video. I really like this look. It looks nothing like Desi, but I really like it. I wanna thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed watching this video, then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I love you so much. Thank you, Linda. No problem. Your Thanks. assistant for today. Bye.